In the middle of the Pacific Ocean, scientists have recorded a mysterious and powerful underwater sound. What could it be? A giant sea monster, an unknown natural phenomenon, or maybe even something extraterrestrial? That's exactly what scientists are wondering because with the bloop, they have recorded the most bizarre underwater sound ever. Stay tuned to hear the creepy original recording. Welcome, people. Before we dive into the depths of the ocean, a brief request from me. If you are as fascinated by the secrets of the universe and the deep sea as I am, then please press the subscribe button now so you are guaranteed not to miss any more exciting discoveries and you will help me reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers. And now we dive into the realm of the mysterious bloop. 1997 was not only the year when Titanic was released in theaters and made us all believe we could fly on ship arches. It was also the year in which hydrophones from the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA for short, recorded an extremely strange sound. This sound was so loud and strange that it really puzzled scientists for years. Imagine you're standing on the beach and suddenly hear a deep, drawn-out The sound was something like this, only underwater and incredibly loud. Christopher Fox from NOAA explained in a CNN interview. It was far louder than any known animal sound on Earth. To give you an idea of the volume, the bloop was recorded by hydrophones that were over 5,000 kilometers away. It would be like sneezing in Paris and it could be heard in Dubai. <coughs> but what in Neptune was that for a sound? The scientists were initially faced with a puzzle. Fox had something to say about it. Such an acoustic signature resembled that of a living animal. But we don't know which animal could make a sound that loud. Sure, whales can be quite loud. The call of a blue whale can reach up to 188 dB. A jet reaches 150 dB. But the bloop was even louder. I would say, let's listen to the original recording. After that, write in the comments what your first thought was when you heard it. Of course, speculation was not long in coming after the publication of the bloop sound. Was it perhaps a previously undiscovered giant squid? Or even a prehistoric sea monster from the deep sea? An angry megalodon? Fans of HP Lovecraft even speculated that it could be the call of Cthulhu, the cosmic monster god from Lovecraft's stories. And now it gets really eerie. The fictional city of Riley from Lovecraft's stories is located only about 2,000 kilometers from the presumed source of the bloops, no wonder the Cthulhu fans have gone crazy. But don't worry if you're now afraid of tentacled monsters. The truth is less scary, but at least just as fascinating. The researchers tried to locate the source of the sound. In doing so, they encountered another mystery. The bloops seemed to come from a region west of the southern tip of South America. More precisely, from the coordinates 50 degrees south latitude, 100 degrees west longitude. This is a rather remote area in the Pacific, far away from the usual shipping routes. If I were Cthulhu, I would appear exactly in such a place. The scientists began to go through all possible explanations. Perhaps it was secret military exercises, or some kind of unknown underwater volcano, or maybe a huge undiscovered sea creature. The search for the source of the bloop became a real scientific challenge. The researchers employed all available means to get to the bottom of the mystery. They analyzed the recordings with state-of-the-art computers of the time, compared them to known underwater sounds, and created complex models for sound propagation in the ocean. And while the scientists were researching, the public's imagination ran wilder. And wilder. In internet forums, crazier and crazier theories were exchanged. Some believed in a secret underwater base of aliens, while others suspect it could be the song of an unknown whale species. And some particularly creative individuals even speculated that the bloop was the sound of a gigantic underwater civilization flushing its toilet. Well, at least that would make the explanation for the name bloop somewhat logical. But while rumors were brewing on the internet, the researchers gradually approached the truth. They installed more hydrophone arrays closer to the suspected source of the sound, and between 2005 and 2010, they made a crucial discovery. But what they found was neither a sea monster nor an alien base. The solution to the puzzle was, wait, you don't think I'm going to tell you that already, do you? Where's the suspense in that? 
Before we reveal the secret, let's take a brief detour into the fascinating world of underwater acoustics. Did you know that water is an excellent conductor of sound? Sound propagates about four times faster in water than in air. This is because water molecules are much closer together than air molecules. That's why whales and dolphins can communicate with each other over huge distances. And that's why the bloop could be heard so far. So, what have the researchers found out? Drum roll. It was indeed not a living being. The bloop was most likely caused by a massive iceberg that broke off from a glacier in Antarctica. You heard that right. An iceberg sounds a lot less exciting than a sea monster, doesn't it? But think about it. A giant mountain of ice breaking off a glacier with a deafening crash and plunging into the sea. That's pretty impressive too, isn't it? The researchers came to this conclusion when they recorded similar sounds during the disintegration of Iceberg AA near the British Overseas Territory of South Georgia. These sounds were strikingly similar to the bloop. Robert Siak of Noe explains, ice quakes have spectrograms similar to the bloop, as well as the necessary amplification to be detected at distances of more than 5,000 kilometers. And guess what? That fits perfectly with the coordinates from which the bloop seemed to come. This is because the region between the Bransfield Strait and the Ross Sea is known for ice movements. Cape Adair, another well-known source of cryogenic signals, is also nearby. But how exactly does such a loud noise occur when an iceberg breaks off? Imagine dropping an ice cube into your drink. It goes blop. Now imagine an iceberg that is millions of times larger than your ice cube. When it falls into the sea, it doesn't make a blop, but rather just blop. Seriously, when a huge ice block breaks off from a glacier, enormous forces are generated. The ice breaks, splinters, and deforms. This creates vibrations that propagate through the water as sound waves. And because water, as we have learned, is such a good sound conductor, these sounds can be heard over very, very long distances. Now you might be wondering, but Tim, if that's the case, why don't we hear blobs all the time? Good question. The answer is we actually do hear them. However, most of these sounds are not as loud and unique as the original bloop from 1997. That one must have come from a particularly large and spectacular iceberg calving. Maybe Cthulhu just needed a lot of ice cubes for a ritual party or something. But even though we now know that the bloop was probably caused by an iceberg, it remains a fascinating phenomenon. It reminds us of how little we actually know about the depths of the ocean. I mean, we have explored the moon and sent rovers to Mars, but the deep sea on our doorstep is still a mystery in many areas. And who knows? Maybe there are still undiscovered giant squids. Or other fascinating creatures down there. Just because we have found an explanation for the bloop doesn't mean that the ocean has no more secrets. On the contrary, the more we explore, the more mysteries we uncover. So folks, keep your ears open. You never know from which direction the next bloop will come. Maybe from Egypt, because there, Chinese researchers have discovered mysterious plasma bubbles over the pyramids of Giza. I know, it sounds just as crazy, but it's true. What this is all about and whether aliens have a hand in it, you'll find out if you click on the video displayed in the top right. Be sure to check it out, it's very exciting. And feel free to check out the channel and the other videos, there are still many exciting topics, every click also helps the channel, otherwise I would say see you in the next video, take care guys.